Hello friends, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Now I am going to explain the topic about how to access SSH terminal in web browser on Linux. In this article, I am going to explain a web-based SSH terminal to access remote Linux servers by using Shellinia box on Linux. Shellinia box. It is a web-based terminal emulator which can run as a web-based SSH client. It comes with its own web server which exports a command line shell to web-based terminal emulator via Ajax interface. Shell in a box only needs JavaScript CSS supports from a web browser and does not require any additional browser plugins. Now I am going to installing Shell in a box on Linux. By default, Shell in a box tool is included on many Linux distributions through default repo including Debian, Ubuntu and Linux Mint. Make sure that your repository enabled and available to install Shellinia box from the that repository. On Red Dot based distribution, you need to first have enable EPEL repository and then install it using the following m command. Now I am going to enable EPEL repository in CentOS. The command is wget space under the path. This is the path to download the EPEL repo. Now enter. The next command is to list out it. The command is ls. This is the downloaded EPEL repo dot rpm package. The next command is to install EPEL repo. The command is rpm space iphone ivh space under the downloaded EPEL file name. Now enter. After installing the EPEL repo by using RPM command, the next command to install open SSH and shell in a box. The command is m install open SSL shell in a box. Now enter to install. Now press Y to confirm. Again press Y to confirm. Press Y to confirm. Now the shell in your box and open SSL package is successfully installed. The next command is to open the configuration file of shell in your box. The, the command is vim slash etc slash sysconfig slash shell in your box d. Now enter to open the configuration file. Now we see the configuration file of cell in a box. Here the default port number is 4200. Now I am going to exit from the file by pressing escape colon q2 exit. Now enter. Now check the status of cell in a box. The command is service linear box D space status. Now enter to view the status. Now we see the status of shell linear box. Here the status is stop. Now we need to start. Next we need to start the service. The command is service shell linear box D space start. Now enter. Now the service is started. After starting the shell in your box, then you can point your browser. Now you just type https colon double slash under the IP address of your system under the port number. Here the port number is 4200. Here the IP address of my system is 192.168.7.112. Now enter. Now enter the username. Here the username is user1 and enter the password for the user1. Next, minimize your web browser and verify shell in your box by using the command of netstat. The command is 
the next command is to verify a shell in a box the command is let's start space hyphen nap space pipeline symbol space grub space shell in a box this command is used to verify whether shell in a box is running on port now enter this command is used to verify whether shell in a box is running on port 4200 by using nested command after verifying the port number of shell in a box by using the nested command the next command to change the port number of shell in a box by using the configuration file the command is vim slash etc slash sysconfig slash shell in a box d now enter to open the file now press i to insert and remove the default port number then enter the new port number here the port number is 1991 after changing the port number then we need to save and exit from the file colon wq now enter to exit now we need to restart the service by the command the command is service space shell in a box d space restart now enter after restart of the service then we need to check the port number by using the command of netstat here the command is netstat hyphen nap space pipeline symbol space grub space shell in a box now enter to view the port number now we see the changed port number here the port number is 1991 next we need to open the web browser now type https colon double slash and the ip address colon and the port number now enter now we see the error message here the error message is unable to connect why because we are entering the wrong port number now i am going to change this port number here the port number is 1991 now enter now click now click here click add exception now click now we got the login page now enter the username here the username is user1 enter now enter the password for user1 now we are going to login successfully in the user1 page by using the web browser if you right click on the shell then you will have some simple options available here next i am going to log out from this page by typing the command is exit by typing the command is exit now enter now the session is closed these are the steps to install and configure a web based ssh terminal to access remote linux servers by using shell in a box thank you for watching this video